Well, darling, let's go play with the yard light. This will fire up the old fluorescence. Now, first of all, I'd like to say I greatly appreciate all the comments I got on my last video of this goofy dancing arc problem that this light has. Every one of your comments was greatly appreciated. So my plan tonight here is to just replace this capacitor the same microfarad rating as this one and see if this cheers up the ballast in this light. It makes it a little quieter and prevents the arc and the bulb from dancing and kind of going bananas. I will say, just so you know, I fired this bulb up again the night after I uploaded that video of it and it did the exact same thing about after an hour I came back and looked at it and the arc was moving around again except this time it was like way faster it was going like this whereas before it was just you know just barely moving so I don't know if I just witnessed it at a different stage because it seems to change as everything warms up or whatever or if maybe that capacitor's value is fading even more now that it's starting to get put back in use and it was making the bulb go even more bananas but regardless I shut it off and said that's it I'm not gonna run this light anymore until I figure something out so for the sake of learning something instead of just swapping out the whole ballast I'm gonna first change the capacitor the one that's got a you know healthy microfarad rating and we're gonna see how it behaves if it still does the same thing then we're gonna swap out the entire ballast like transformer and capacitor and then if it works properly I'm gonna take this worn out capacitor that's in this ballast currently and put it in that properly functioning ballast just to see if it acts up or something like like I said we're kind of experimenting tonight here and we're gonna see what actually fixes this light? Oh, look at that. She's 0.2 microfarad higher than the last time I checked it. I'm pretty confident changing this is going to fix our issue. Hey, kitty, you checking out that beat up old Evergo? Let's see if I can find one. I'm pretty sure one of these guys I got out of the scrapyard the other day is a 250 watt. Ah, it's a high pressure sodium ballast. How did I not notice that? Okay, well, we're going to the other shed. Hey, just chilling? Let's see what we can find in the heap of ballasts. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is the 250 watt right here. Yep. <sighs> well, here's another fixture. This one is also rating 16.6. Starting off. Starting to wonder if uh, maybe my, my meter is a little messed up. Hmm. Oh, it does have a light. Oh, look at that. The camera can't even see it. Oh, I can't turn it off either. I have to wait for it. Now, I do know that both this fixture and that fixture functioned properly. All right, so this fixture is running a 24 microfarad capacitor plus or minus three percent see if this thing is reading a little closer to that there we go oh yeah 22.5 that's exactly well i didn't remember exactly what the rating was on this fixture but i do remember its capacitor rating a little low but that's good because I was worried my meter was maybe reading too high. But now seeing that this one's reading much lower than it's supposed to be. And like I said, that's exactly how I remember this fixture being. We know the meter's okay. Okay, turn off. So that means I have another bad capacitor. Hmm. Aha. The capacitor out of this generator is exactly what we need. Now my next concern is if it's compatible. Well, it's 450 volts AC, so it seems pretty good. Right on. That's a lot closer. One thing's for sure, this is a way cheaper feeling capacitor than the original one. I guess, what is this? Probably an oil-filled one. This is one of them dry film ones, although those big 400 watt units usually use these cheap plastic ones. So I think we're just going to give it a try and see if it just explodes or something. As long as it doesn't hurt you. 
Well, there it is. Since I'm a chicken, we're going to give it just a couple of quick blips here. No photo cell. <laughs> Every darn time, kitty. This is my special day burner testing photo cell. All right, photo cell installed. You can see I upgraded my level of chicken. You better get out of there, kitty. Quick blip. Well, we can easily hear it buzzing from here. Bass that are getting abnormally warm, ice cold. Check it again. Okay, it's still cold. Now what happens when we put a bulb in it? I'll check out that hodgepodge setup. Powering on. Well, so far so good. Still very noisy. 2.14 amps. 67 watts. We're gonna have to let her warm up for that to be accurate. Oh, I think our capacitor is holding up. Our light still vibrates a lot. <laughs> so much it even makes the bulb kind of jingle. That's not very satisfactory. That's weird, man. That thing got way louder after the first time I used it. I wonder why. But I'm going to let it sit here and warm up and see what it's reading in a bit. Well, I come inside here quick. I figured out that at about 16 microfarads, that capacitor is 6.7% over its nominal value. I guess that might make sense why it's still humming really loud. What's she doing? Oh, she's warming up. Still loud as frig. Look if we come inside the building here. <laughs> it's just like obnoxious. But her capacitor never exploded, so that's good. Still climbing. Now she's really starting to climb. Kind of. Good old slow to warm up GE bulbs. Well, it's been about an hour and a half, and I'm seeing it. Two forty-eight. Oh, okay. Two point five one amps. One oh eight volt. Nine one power factor. Yeah, she's definitely trying to trying to move around there. Oh yeah, now she's dancing. Hmm. So it still does the same thing. We are still technically over the recommended microfarad value so maybe that's still causing this but I don't know fortunately I don't think I'll be able to find any more capacitors that are of the proper value unless I go and buy one but I think for poops and giggles, I'm just going to swap out this ballast entirely and see if the second one does it. I've got another ballast that's exactly the same as this, just in nicer condition. Alrighty. Second ballast is wired in. Of course, I forgot to show the transformer before I installed it and the stickers on the bottom. But the sticker looked way happier than the one that was in it right here. As you can see, that sticker's really dark, and it's actually still really nice and warm, keeping my hands warm. As you can see, she was kind of beat up here. The original housing 
that this ballast was in was like this except it was all beat up here at the top and you can see the transformer here kind of came in contact with something but this one didn't it's unharmed so maybe it'll be better <laughs> and I'm running its original capacitor as we've tested before this capacitor is testing the same as the original one did in the previous ballast let's hang her up Well, that's a way happier sounding transformer. The light isn't vibrating at all. No, no vibration at all. It's absolutely perfect. Hmm. Well, good to know that one's healthy. 13 volts 2.2 amp 70 watts 0.27 power factor right on well I'm just gonna let this baby run up the full temp and see how she's behaving well she's all warmed up she's still just emitting just a pleasant little buzz it's a little bit on the noisy side, but it's still just, like I said, it's pleasant, if anything. Zero vibration. Everything's still working really good. 256 watts. Power factor. Seems about average. Voltage and amperage. And I've got just a little hunch. But I just kind of got to thinking when I was wiring that other one up. Maybe it's important to actually separate the common that's coming out of the bulb from the rest of the stuff that common's hooked up to. I don't know. I was sure they just hooked up together right underneath the winding here. But I just can't help but wonder if that is maybe causing this thing to hum so loud. Because this one I hooked up all the commons just bunched up together. And the ballast that's in the light... I did what I said there, separated the common coming from the lamp and the common that's hooked up to everything else. So let's just test that on the table real quick. Okay, I have this old ballast hooked up the same way as it was when it was in the light. Here's what it sounds like with no bulb. Not terrible. Not vibrating at all. Here's what it sounds like with the bulb. Very noisy. Vibrating a lot. It's like reverberating through the table. Should look at some values here. 2.13 amp, 65 watts, 242 volt amps, whatever that is. And 0.26 power factor. Now I'm going to swap it around here. All right. Now I've got the one common hooked up to common on the plug, and the other common going to the light only. If it was in the fixture, the photocell would also have its neutral connecting up to this junction. Did it make a difference, or is this a waste of time? Waste of time. <laughs> Sorry, Mercury Vapor Bulb. Made you do a bunch of unnecessary starts. Yeah, it made no difference. Hmm. Oh no, look at how much it's sputtering. I'll have to let her burn for a while after this, learn to clean up. Alright, so this is the original capacitor out of this noisy transformer. Just to refresh, 16.5 microfarad ish now the value of the capacitor out of the nice quiet ballast 16.5 exact same so i don't think this is going to make a difference at all especially the fact that we swapped that 
other capacitor out for this replacement capacitor that's that's even closer to the proper value that both of these capacitors are and it still hums. I'm gonna go ahead and try this capacitor on here and see if it's any better. I highly doubt it. <laughs> okay last test. It's still gonna be noisy. Yes. I'm sorry, Mercury Vapor Bulb. You will never be abused again. I promise. Exact same. And it's already warming up. There is definitely, hands down, 100% something wrong with that transformer. So I guess we figured it out. The ballast in this fixture also makes a lot of reverberating humming noise. Although it's one of those, uh, I can't remember what it's called at the moment, reactor transformer where it doesn't technically need a capacitor to run and it's just there for power factor correction if you want. So yeah, this thing probably wouldn't be affected by a bad capacitor, it'd just slowly lose its power factor which this light's power factor is actually pretty good. But it must also just have a bad transformer in it. You can see signs of heat. Just like on this thing. Kitty, you want to come up here? Hey, show everybody how you can climb the stairs. Hmm? Come on. You can do it. <laughs> hey, come on. No, she ain't gonna do it for now. What? You don't want to come check out the junk haven? Well, there you go. You jumped up here off camera, eh? <laughs> Did you go in your old house? Hey, remember when that used to be on the back step when it used to exist? You want me to put it back on the deck maybe? I have to paint it first. There right, you want to go in now? Whoa, she's attempting full throttle. She does really want to go in, eh? There, now you'll be safe. There's full throttle, kitty.